Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today, we're going to talk about sampling in FL Studio. And actually, we're going to talk about sampling from your monitor outputs in FL Studio in particular. So, um, for starters, I want to I wanna make sure that uh, y'all know this before we go any further. I want y'all to know this only, I believe this only will work if you have an interface that is capable of recording the uh, outputs you understand what i'm saying the monitor outputs so whatever is going on uh coming through your interface or or whatever is connected to your interface even the computer it'll whatever's coming out of your your monitors i should say whatever coming out of your compute your, your speakers um the computer will record um if you have an interface that's capable of doing that this is the only way that will work sorry for that long-winded explanation about that but that part is really important um it'll only work if you have that capability on your interface so um let's let's keep going all right so you got fruity loops open the first thing you want to do um is sample like that's that, if that's your style like you may have already have a a, a, a track going and you like to match the sample to the beat or whatever however you do it but the first thing you want to do is go to an open insert you know what i'm saying whatever whatever that is you could have instruments already going on all the way up to uh you know let's uh do this tomorrow uh you can have inserts going all the way up to whatever but whatever open inserts you have go to it and um assign the outputs now I mean the inputs. Now I have a Universal Audio Apollo. Um, with the Universal Audio Apollo, it has M O N L M O N R to indicate the monitor ins and outs. So you want to click on that, and if you look at my levels when I did that, I get this little this little raise in the level. And if you listen, you might can hear it. If you listen, it's like a faint um, feedback sound. This, this 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 sound is called a feedback loop, and you don't want that because as soon as you start playing music or whatever you or whatever you play on the computer, like I just hit one of the keys and that happened. We don't want that. We don't want that to happen. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disarm it by clicking that right there. Now what that did was it disconnected the outputs from the channel insert to the master. So it's it's basically cut off. So now we're ready to record. And also make sure this, I ran into this problem before too. Like when you first open Fruity Loops and you hit record, you might get a um a dialog box that pops up that says, um, you know, what do you what do you want to record? Do you want to record MIDI? Do you want to record audio, so on and so forth, automation or whatever? And some people might click uh, MIDI because they're making beats. They're not really trying to, you know, record in, in the joint. They're they just making beats, maybe dragging loops or whatever. So they'll click that and then hit Don't Warn Me Again. And now all of a sudden you want to actually sample into Fruity Loops and, you know, you messed up. So what you want to do is to fix that, you want to right click on the record button and make sure audio is um, uh, checked. You know what I mean? And you're good to go. All right, so now let's go ahead to go to our sample. All right. All right, as you can see. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm trying to talk over it because I ain't trying to get no copyright strikes. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, um, it went into it. So we got the audio straight in there, right into it. Like, hold on, let me show y'all. That's playing out of Fruity Loops. And from there, you know, you can do whatever you want to it. You can chop it up manually, you know what I'm saying? Using the blade tool and, you know, all kind of other stuff. I got another video that I'm gonna add to this playlist where I show y'all how to time scale the samples. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have a loop or something, you know, and you want to, um, as a matter of fact, I'll do another video on that in particular, because in that video, I actually kind of showed y'all how to uh, import stems. It was more so about importing stems. I'm still added to the playlist, but um, it's, it's still going to be about importing stems. 
uh, another video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk to y'all about actually time scaling your samples and, and fitting it to the to the beat. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much how you do it, man. This is your man Frank Dutch, man. Stay tuned for more uh, videos. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, definitely follow us on Instagram at Apex Music and Media. You know what I'm saying? This is your man Frank Dutch, man. Y'all take care, man. Stay tuned. Peace.